Hey folks, it's time to Frugal Prepper. Hey, I'm just doing a quick shout out here. Uh, a, a channel that I watch, CRS Firearms. Um, I really like most of his content. He gets way into like all these different scopes and different rifles and stuff. And sometimes I don't watch that, but I like watching some of his content. And um, he used to uh, have a sponsor. It was a company called Auto Key Card. And they basically made these cards with these drawings on it that you could cut out and make a link or something that would go in your AR-15 to make it fire full auto. And the feds decided they didn't like that and they arrested the auto key card guy. And, uh, which technically that shouldn't be illegal, but, you know, the feds just, the ATF just makes up their rulings as they go. They don't actually go by what the law is. And so, uh, generally they arrest you and they hold you and, uh, then if you can get enough money together to mount a good legal defense, then they'll just drop the charges after a year or so uh, before it goes to court so it doesn't set a precedent against them. Uh, otherwise, they, they usually put you in a federal pound me in the butt prison. Um, I don't ever buy anything like that, never have. I just, like, I, I try to stay away from bump stocks, or I try to always stay away from bump stocks. Now, those are illegal. The... Uh, the, the arm braces for the ARs, I just legally will fill out the paperwork and build an SBR if I want that, you know. And the fake silencers and the, the, the fake full auto stuff or the, you know, the coat hangers, the lightning link, all that stuff. I just stay away from it. I stay away from the weird triggers. I just am happy having semi-automatic weapons that are legal. But uh, anyway... He did a sponsorship with them, and so he took some sponsorship money, but this is before there was any question of the legality of it. Um, and so uh, he also tried to start a GoFundMe at one point, and it was in his girlfriend's name or something. There was some drama there. He had to get the money and give it to him or something. But basically, they're, they're trying to charge him with some type of conspiracy or something. I'll put a link to the video down below that explains more about it and I'll put a link to his GoFundMe down below but he's going to need a hundred thousand dollars to get um, sufficient legal defense I donated 20 bucks and I'm just asking anybody to donate anything that they could donate to his cause if, if you want to I know a lot of the people who watch my channel are not gun people and, and that's fine you don't have to donate I'm just putting this here to bring awareness to it and um, I think as of right now, he's like $62,000 of the way there. So, um, you know, we're getting there. We're trying to get him the money so that he can get a good attorney uh, to help fight these trumped up charges. You know, basically, if you go around poking the feds in the eye, eventually you have to understand there's more laws on the books than there are stars in the sky. They will find something that they can charge you with. Um, and I think he done poked the feds in the eye one too many times, but I think everybody has a right to a good legal defense, and uh, that's what we're trying to do for Matt. I'll talk to y'all later. It's Tom, your frugal prepper.